This body cam footage from the Fullerton Police Department in California shows an officer sprinting to get out of the way when a Tesla in autopilot mode came at him full speed, <laughs> crashing into his cruiser, which was blocking traffic at an intersection. The Tesla never slowed down despite flashing lights and flares on the road. Last summer, Spotlight on America first reported on multiple dramatic crashes involving Teslas and autopilot, which were under a National Highway Safety Administration investigation. That two-year probe ultimately examined nearly 1,000 crashes involving 29 fatalities since 2018. NHTSA pressured Tesla to issue a safety recall on autopilot, which the company did in December of 2023 in the form of a software update. But since then, NHTSA opened a new investigation in April, questioning whether the software update was sufficient after Tesla reported at least 20 more crashes. And now NHTSA is also investigating Ford's Blue Cruise driver assist after multiple fatalities were reported while that system was in use. Tesla safety report. Partially automated driving technology is often promoted as a way to make driving safer. But transportation safety experts say that's not yet clear. Your mission here is safety. Absolutely. David Kidd is a senior research scientist at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, known for its crash testing of vehicles to help advise safety standards. We have no evidence that automating parts of the driving task and consumer vehicles makes driving safer. IIHS tested 14 partially automated driver assist systems and rated them from poor to marginal, acceptable or good. The reviews for overall safety were not encouraging. Only one vehicle got an acceptable, no vehicle got a good, and two got marginal. The standouts, Toyota and Lexus's teammate did the best getting an acceptable and among the worst, Tesla's autopilot Model 3 with a poor rating. One of the biggest concerns with partially automated driving is drivers can become complacent and distracted, relying on them too much, leading to crashes like that one in North Carolina, nearly injuring two officers. The driver told police he was watching a movie on his cell phone. So bottom line, as a consumer, as a driver concerned about safety, am I better off having partial automated driving or not? For our recommendation is basically these systems are comfort and convenience. You just need to be aware that they're limited in capability. They could stop working at any time, so you always have to be ready. Don't take it for granted that they're going to replace you as the driver. For Spotlight on America, I'm Angie Moreski.